Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Pant. I hope you are doing very fine at your home. So yes, NEET provisional answer key has been released and it's just a provisional answer key. They will be releasing the final answer key after the after opening the challenging portal. So firstly, uh, I think maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, they will open the portal for challenging the answer keys. Some people might have this doubt, sir, how much change in the marks can I expect if there is some answer key change? I got some uh, one, two comments like that also. So I'll clear this out. 99% uh, chance your marks will not decrease. Key changes can happen. Yes. But multiple correct can come. Multiple keys can come of the same of the same question in case the answer key changes. But I don't think any question is there in physics, chemistry or biology. In my knowledge, there is no such question in which answer key given is wrong. So that's not a problem. So I don't think your marks are going to decrease at least. But yes, some people, if they are lucky enough, if the need gives two different answer keys of a specific question, their marks might increase. So yes, it might affect the overall ranking system. But right now, marks wise, I don't think anyone will be at the loss, even if there is a key correction or not. Now, coming to the point for which I made this video. So in the last few videos, I made it very clear for you or I tried to make it clear for you. Should you take a drop for the MBBS or not? So now this is the second video of the same segment. So some students might have already opted in their mind. They might have been mentally prepared by this time that I don't want to take any further drop and I want to join some course. So whatever the reason might be social economic reason or maybe the lack of interest is there towards this field whatsoever might be the reason if you want a backup plan so here i'm offering you the backup plan as well and i'll be giving the rank list of the courses on a scale of 10 i've given 10 to the mbbs that is my reference and based upon that i'm giving the ranking to the remaining uh, courses <clears throat> so before going ahead with the rank list let me make two things very clear number one uh, if you have interest in a specific field already because of whatsoever the reason might be maybe your parents your elder brother or some someone in your family might be working in that segment and you have a soft corner for a specific course and you have the interest in that specific course do take it why because if you have the interest you will perform very well in that course and if you are performing very well in that course you have a chance of being the cream of that specific course or of that specific syllabus and if you are the cream of any syllabus you will have the job you will have good social status also you will have a lot of money as well so understand this being a mediocre in MBBS is worse than being the top ranker in an average course. So courses can be average, but if you are the excellent person in that average course, you will always have a job. So cream of every field will get a job. That's for sure. And how you will become the cream if you have the interest in that segment. So keep this thing, thing in mind. Keep your interest above this rank list. Second. In case you choose a specific course, you find sir, uh, some set of course I liked out of the list I have told you. I'll, I'll be telling you now. So make a list of that and do your own personal research. I'll tell you the method of doing the research also. Uh, you can use Facebook or Instagram, preferably Facebook. Facebook is much better because you will get better idea of the profile of the people on Facebook. So do what? Search for that specific course and that specific college that you are looking for. Uh, the alumni of that college or maybe the students who are reading in that specific college in that specific course, their profiles will appear on the Facebook search. Message them, ask them on, Inst uh, on Instagram or Messenger, wherever you are able to find them. There are some groups as well uh, in which this kind of information can be given by the admin on Facebook. And they'll be able to tell you the ground reality of that specific curriculum because I have not done each and every course I'm going to mention here and no one has done. So the best guidance can be given by the students who are reading in that specific college key, how much placement it gives, which uh, future prospects uh, get open from that specific college, which curriculum is better in that college, all these kind of things. Ground reality will be given by the students uh, reading right now at this point of time in that college. So use this Facebook for the first time. Social media should be properly used in a proper way now. So these two things might be clear. Now starting from it, MBBS on a scale of 10, I've given 10. Uh, second list, I will give 8 on 10 for two courses. One is BPT, that is physiotherapy. And second is BASLP. It's a very good course. Physiotherapy, I think you might be knowing. There is a huge demand of physiotherapy, especially in the last 4-5 years, I have seen there is a huge demand of physiotherapy. And many of my students as well, plus many of my acquaintances as well, they are into, in this, into this field and they are earning quite well. Second, BASLP, uh, this Bachelor of Audiology, and speech language pathology this this is the course name and there might be some separate examinations for this also 
so you have to do a little bit of research in your area which college is famous for it and which college you can take the admission in but this uh, bslp is a very very good course uh, as far as the monetary benefit plus job profile is also concerned job profile also like people will refer to you as a doctor only so this is a very good profile to work upon uh, hearing aids and all uh, the people who are having the kids especially who are having the problem in hearing uh, or hearing impairment is there bslp doctors they help there so they are called doctors in the normal language people call them doctors only next 7 out of 10 i'll give to three courses one is veterinary and uh, homeopathy and ayurveda homeopathy ayurveda especially after ayush has become uh, sufficiently good and possibly after this nmc reforms uh, maybe the bridge course will also come and this allied medical sciences will be entering into the into practicing the allopathy as well so you never know future might be open plus these two courses are good veterinary is also very good jobs are there and uh, it depends upon the taste because some people don't like uh, treating animals but yes it's it has a very good market especially in the urban areas the market is very highly paying uh, in the rural areas at least uh, cattle are there cows are there you know so they are also there is a lot of dairy farms also you can work in case you are from veterinary you can work in the dairy as well in dairy industry as well so that also becomes open for you that option also becomes open for you next so next in the list is bsc ag course agriculture course bsc or btech ag whichever you get now this course i am giving 7.5 out of 10 that means better than veterinary bhms and bams why very specific reasons i will give number 1 there is no other bsc course which can offer so wide range of jobs government as well as private after bsc just after bsc that means option of msc obviously is obviously open to you but bsc ag in some colleges if you enter into a good college of bsc ag there is a huge chance that you might get a handy job in a private uh, company as well just after completing your bsc or you can prepare for ibps and get and become agriculture officer ao in the banks just like po are there in the same cadre ao are also taken in second apart from this in case you want to do mba later on the best possible way in this scenario to do mba is by uh, clearing the cat examination and taking admission in maybe i am lucknow or i am ahmedabad in the agri business management course abm course in fact from, from i am lucknow if you take the admission in M, uh, abm agri business agri business management uh, obviously by name it is clear that bsc ag will get preferred in entering into the abm agri business management you can opt for a job in other segments as well from i am lucknow so it's possible that you might enter with a lower rank with around 90 percentile 92 percentile you might enter into a, a good i am like i am lucknow and you might earn the placement finally as good as a 99 percentile as well in the cat examination so it's a very good option bsc ag mb option get opened as well government job private job plus msc for sure teaching for sure there are a lot of other jobs as well so bsc ag is a very good field to to choose apart from bpt baslp veterinary bhms and bams also and next in the list is food technology because obviously when i have told about uh, bsc ag food tech is followed just after that so food tech and food processing both are very good field they are little different from each other food processing is different food technology is different so any of these two courses will be able to give you a decent job just after the bachelor degree as well just like bsc ag but not so good placement like bsc ag like food corporation of india is there there the government job is possible uh, you have to just clear one examination uh, but yeah lower than bsc ag but a good field so i'll give it again 7 out of 10 uh, food technology and food processing other paramedical courses from good colleges if you do other paramedical courses i will give the list of the courses also on the screen i'll try to give uh, maybe at the last or maybe right now i will be editing and giving it so these courses you can opt from any good college any good government college if you are opting from the uh, from these courses from a good government college 7 out of 10 also we can give to these courses as well then apart from that dairy fisheries forestry horticulture to these courses i will give a 6 out of 10 to these courses so yeah they are also good and out of which fisheries and dairy especially if you are from the southern part of india this will be a very good course for you because you will be getting the jobs closer to your home as well next yunani yoga siddh Medi medical sciences in these also just like ayush mantralaya was launched after that bhms bams became better these courses also came into a little bit of limelight so this also you can opt again i'll give it 6 out of 
a lot of hype was create, created for farm d so it's not diploma it's doctorate so yeah people thought that i'll be giving around six years of my life to this field and maybe i'll be getting as good feel as a doctor as well the ground reality is a little different number one pharma field is already overburdened with a lot of students already doing the b pharma m pharma course so they already have given around six years of their life for b pharma m pharma plus one year of the job as well that those many jobs are not available at this point in this market right now second uh, farm d is not is very new course so it will take some time by the government of india to uh, accustom that into its own uh, job profiles as well so yes farm d some very good institutes if you are doing the farm d from you'll be working alongside with the doctors as well but in some private call in some private hospitals good private hospitals but in mediocre private private hospitals or lower private hospitals or government hospitals right now jobs for farm d are not as much so yeah i'll give it six out of ten why six course is good and uh, option of working outside india is very very good but the time invested is also very high plus the money invested is also decent so six out of ten i'll give it next uh, b pharma bds these two are the courses a lot of bds uh, queries i was getting sir can i get bds 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 is so much already overcrowded i don't know if you know this or not but government has completely halted the re uh, the opening of new bd uh, dental colleges so there are many dentists at this point of time a lot of investment of money and time will go but that much returns will not come in bds as well as b pharma as well b pharma is a little cheaper course as compared to bds but uh, the return in investment in b pharma also is not very good still with b pharma there is a there is a there is an option you can uh, take is that you can do later on mba in the farm management uh, not f a r m p h a r m pharma management so there there is a chance of getting a job as well but again choose only when if you have the interest in dentistry actually or maybe in case uh, your parents already have a dental clinic and you want to work there only or run the family business ahead calling it business is not good but okay it's okay next six to seven points i will give to the paramedical courses which i have said so already i think the remaining list are over so i'll just name the courses i was talking about for getting six to seven uh, out of ten so optometry in vs in optometry forensics psychology nursing nursing is very good uh, if you're getting it from a good college like jip mar and aims it's going to be a very great course also for nursing uh, military services are also there so you might enter into military as well it's a very good thing if some people are interested in that maybe if your dream college if you're a girl and your dream college was afmc the other way of getting into military is by this nursing military services as well competition will be lesser and uh, chances of getting selected will be more next med lab technicians are there cardiac lab, lab technology is there dialysis technology is there neurotech is there nuclear medical uh, technology is there operation theater technology is there perfusion technology is there anesthesia technology is there marine biology is there it's a very great course marine biology is also a great course yes uh, just after bsc you can't expect a decent salary but very interesting course if you want to pursue your bsc msc and phd over there next for higher studies if i say environmental chemistry uh, plus environmental biology or simply environmental sciences these three courses are very good apart from that in case you want to do your bsc in geology botany or chemistry i would suggest you firstly for chemistry in case anyone is interested in bsc chemistry i will tell you that uh, for getting into decent job uh, in the government profile especially or for clearing the examination and getting the admissions into uh, mscs as well if you are from the biology background and you don't have mathematics also in your senior inter in your class 12th you will have to give one mathematics test as well separately a mathematics test also you will be required to give along with your msc entrance examinations to enter into some good iits so keep that in mind chemistry you will have to give a basic mathematics it's not tough to qualify but again you will have to give it next if you take geology and botany then uh, again bsc is bsc uh, too many people are doing it so again you will have to struggle a lot to reach to a specific position there but if you are very interested towards a specific course like microbiology is there or maybe for instance you are interested in geology in general or botany in general you can take a general bsc or you can take zbc kind of uh, bsc you can take zoology botany and uh, chemistry and you can do your msc in the specific course i would suggest you not to take a bsc specific like bsc some people take bsc microbiology 
the problem with bsc microbiology or such kind of courses is that if you uh, become very specific in your bachelor course only then you will be able to do your masters in that course specifically or some problems might come into some good colleges you might not be getting some other course but if you do your bsc general and you enter into msc later on uh, maybe in neurology or maybe in microbiology or maybe in your just geology botany again it will be easier for you so you can choose your specialization in the masters always so keep that in mind in bachelor don't choose a specialization if you're not getting a good college and a good course so this is about the bsc part so again bsc if you do i think very well you know bsc msc phd you will become a teacher or bsc msc you can get a decent job also government jobs are also there but yes competition is tough in this place and jobs are comparatively lesser than the population who are going to apply for that job so uh, finally one biotech uh, course also i was getting a lot of queries for biotech and i would personally not suggest you to take biotech at all because i've seen that field very closely very 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 closely research wise also if you are uh, going outside there is a great scope but if you want a job in a decent set, basically if you don't have the interest and if you just want a job out, out of biotechnology jobs are very less but again it's better than obviously a normal bsc in some places but if you are interested in a specific subject i would suggest you biotech uh, you should choose only when you are interested in that if you are interested in some other, other subject try to skip the biotechnology i would place it at again 5.5 so in fact i would place bds also at 5.5 only uh, 5 only bds and b pharma 5 out of 10 i think i did not say the marks of b pharma and bds so yes this was all about it any further queries are there you can clarify in the comment section also I tried to combine all the courses possible, but again, if some course is missed or if you think uh, not the students of class 12th or outgoing batch or incoming batch, if you are in a specific course and if you are seeing this video and if you feel that nah, sir, my field was missed and it's also a great option, you can please post in the comment section. It will be helpful for everyone. Plus, if you feel that I have messed up with some ranking, that my perception is wrong because my perception is based upon the, my students who have studied plus my friends who are in this field. And it's more or less 99% accurate, I feel. If it's still you are in a specific college and in your college some course is better than what I told right now, then please make sure that you type that in the comment box. I will add that in the video. Maybe I'll just make that uh, comment come into some highlight or something. So yeah, that's all about it. Thank you so much. All the very best.